In this video you are going to learn how to win very fast in the opening and to play brilliant moves like this one. Without further ado, let's dive in. This is Angelo and I had a training match with a guy on Chess.com, we played uh, 10 games actually. The score didn't win very well for him but it doesn't matter so much, he is playing good games and in one of them I'd like to show you this one. I learned how to play against the majority of the players because many of them play the same opening moves and after this one he has a lot a lot of good moves here but I'm going to repeat once again, don't play this move knight f6, these two moves together, knight here and pawn there are not working so well together. This is the martial defense and let's check out actually the chesscom statics. What the chesscom has to say about that? Let's see. And now it's uh, the starting position and after the move d4 you can see actually the all moves that uh, black can play and I, I strongly suggest you to go through of them, some of them actually, to select uh, what to play. And now we can see one of the most popular moves is this or this, doesn't matter, and after c4 you see people don't play here the move d5, it is in um, approximately here, the move d5, the martial gambit or martial defense is very low in this option, it is uh, approximately 10th option and another very important thing it's what is going on here why we have this rating what does it mean actually with the white color it's white winning percentage actually now we have the draw and with the black we have the losses actually and you can see after the move d5 it's really impressive really really impressive that 70 percent of the white uh, uh, players won this one it's amazing actually and now after the move d5 here of course uh, white can take the most winning uh, move is this one to take and after that he can recapture with the knight and i call it like the lame grunfeld the lame grunfeld not very good version of the grunfeld defense because after this move d5 now black cannot really capture here on c3 and many many people play in this one maybe you want you will be one of them and you should stop playing this opening and now after this move knight f6 the most popular move is knight to c3 white is uh, winning with 85 percent almost every game right and after this one and after e5 i have concrete analysis on my computer and after the move 20 white claims some advantage but why to play all of this theory here we can play a better move and not a lot of players know this move actually e5 because we are stopping this one and he has to move the knight again can you give me some tips actually in the opening definitely i can give you one of the tips is developing the pieces and here you can see black is moving back and forth the pieces can you give me another hint of course, this is control of the center. And as you can see, black completely give up the center. This is not good. And in my game, actually, after this one, he played knight to b6. And here, I don't see it in any option, actually, what I played. We have a lot of good options. But usually, I play this move a5, a4 in order to play a5 and kick away this knight. So now, let's go back again to see the game. He played this uh, dubious move, let's say, knight to f6, and after this I take, ta capture, he recapture like this, this, he, has, he played that one, and now we have a4. Computer already don't know this move, as you can see, but it give it as an okay move, a good move for white. He played that one. The idea behind this move is to kick this knight away or provoke this move a5, and after this a5 we have a hole here on b5, and this is not so easy for him to play with uh, queenside uh, pawns there. So we have this move, he played this dubious move, I played that one attacking the knight and I give you two tips in order to play nice openings. The first one is development and the second one is control the center. Here we can, you can see that white is controlling the center and after this move white of course have better development so we have both of them. And I played this move developing the pieces and after this dubious move he played the dubious move here don't developing his pieces in the other side of the board I developed my pieces and after that one I just developed the bishop. And you can see now he has serious problems on how to develop his pieces. We have fantastic development development and the next move is castling right are you following and after this one we have a brilliant move now 
Now it's White's turn. How are you going to play? Pause the video. Unpause. And the best move here is boom, this one. I found it during the game. And after this one, we, are, have, we have a winning attack because the king is not safe there. And how are you going to continue actually the attack? What do you think? What is the best move? To give a check, we can give three checks. So we can give check with a knight or check with a queen. I had the same color, but it doesn't matter. And I played this one, and as you can see, immediately is a mistake and not very good move. A better move was knight on g5, because now the king has to do something, and of course he cannot go in the corner again. I completely missed it during the game, because he went here and I say, okay, I'm winning, right? It's After this, it's a checkmate. What you are going to play? And he played that one, and suddenly he is protecting everything. For that reason, we need to play the knight from the other side of the board, and now he cannot really go in the corner, because we have this amazing check, and after this we can take it with, uh, with the knight. And now we are winning a lot, a lot of material. We are threatening this, oops, we are threatening this one actually to give a discovered check here. The rook is unprotected, we have a winning attack. But I didn't play correctly during the game, and games, blitz games are so nice and uh, entertaining because we play a lot of mistakes sometimes. And now he played this one, now he is better and he can consolidate the position. But after my move d5, what can I do now? I need to do something. And now he played a huge blunder. Are you ready? And he played boom, boom, bishop on d6. Double explanation, double question mark actually. He cannot do anything. And I played the best move here. I capture like this. Of course, he cannot take my knight because I can deliver a checkmate in one move. Can you find it? Of course. And now you can, in two moves actually. He can play uh, this one actually in three moves because he can put the knight here and now he can put the bishop there and now we can deliver checkmate but obviously I, I check the checkmate picture that we have to put the pawn uh, forward and now the pawn is protecting that one and we are giving this check in this diagonal this is the idea um, I, I'm do not doing uh, very good with maths I guess it was checkmate in 3 so now he played this move and now I captured there and he played king to f8 and finally, it looked like that uh, everything is just fine, right? Because what are you going to play? I'm threatening that pawn, queen is protecting here, and it looked like that everything is just fine. Can you find the winning combination? You are very welcome to pause the video and try to think how are you going to play? And the correct move is this one, d8, queen, check, distracting the enemy queen and now he resigned because if he just take here we can deliver a checkmate like this with the queen. Very nice game I think, one of my uh, really cool victories uh, in this period. I won fast and I hope you can do the same. Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Here it's time for action. This is the initial page of my website and here you can click give me access to get access to free lessons. You can read this page and if you scroll down here you can add your name and your email. After that you are going to take a free lesson how to avoid chess blunders. So time for action is now and you are very welcome to join my mail list.